Nothing beats a snack with a little shake. It looks like a certain shark agrees. I think you're gonna need a new snack. Ooh, I think this snack's a little too fresh. Let's make a new one. Cut some soles out of a big biscuit. Cover them up with fondant and cut them into place. Now let's add some color. Add 10 little piggies on top. And here's a treat that won't get ticklish. Okay, who's up for making sand ducks? Wait a minute, there's a tiny duck inside. It could be our new model. We're making marshmallow ducks. Let's add a face. And some powdered sugar. A lot. They're just the thing for our special hot chocolate. You know what can be a lot of fun? Cat food! Especially if we whip it into shape. Ooh, looks like a takeout order. Talk about 15 minutes or less. Or would you prefer fast food? And there's enough to go around. Great shoes. Can we borrow them? In fact, it's got such a nice look. Maybe our cupcake should try it. Just don't forget the number one rule. Shoes always come in pairs. Mmm, nothing beats fresh bread. If only that were fresh bread. Well, if it lasted this long, let's help it last forever. Now add some wires inside. Dim all the lights and turn on the bread. What's for lunch? Wait, does that say stuffed animal? Well, at least it's microwave safe. This is not your average bear. Let's see what makes him tick. Wow, an egg! Let's get cracking. Why don't we collect the yolk? Make some shapes. Fry them up. And then add the rest of the eggs. Give it time to fry up. Add a sausage and roll it up. Now enjoy your new breakfast wrap. Next up. Fun with hair care. But not that hair. Oops. Take a hot dog and add some dried pasta on top. Now give it some eyes, a mouth, and our special secret ingredient, love. Now cook it up in boiling water. All that hair should be nice and soft. And, more importantly, ready to braid. These dogs are looking good. But I think they could use a trim. Mmm, toast. Oh, I hope you like it well done.
Yuck! Let's try again with a kitty cookie cutter. Now give it the full body treatment. With a candy six pack and marshmallow pecs. Nothing wrong with a little tanning session. Now add a face and a cute button nose. Add a bow on top, and it's Hello Kitty! It's time for a quick crunch. And enjoy your sandwich s'more. Ooh, hot chocolate! Eh, it needs a little something. Pour some melted chocolate into a mold. Swirl it around to get a nice shape. Pop it out and fill with marshmallows. Make a few scratches on the side. And give it a familiar face. It's Grimace! Let's give him a nice hot cocoa bath. You know, for somebody named Grimace, he sure puts a smile on your face. Wow, this cake is just so pretty! It's gonna be our new phone case! Now let's add something on top. Melt some gummy candies into shape. Before it hardens, add a stick. Now pop it out. You can squeeze it and lick it, but don't forget the wrapper. So good you'll eat the whole can. Told ya! Take some dough, add food coloring, and roll it up. Once it's green, flatten it up. Make some holes to give it a face. Let's whip up a whole batch. Now add to some oil and fry it up. And they taste great with milk. Just eat it before it's mush. That's the Ursa Major of Gummy Bears! Let's look inside. Wow, it's a whole bunch of gummy bears! Let's line them up on wax paper. And turn on the heat. Once it melts, why don't we add some noodles? Fold it up into place. And maybe add some sugar. Now give it a good stretch. Poor Jay! He's melting! Oh, what a world! It's okay. We can make more treats. Let's stay on the theme with a letter mold. And start by giving it a face. Now pour on some liquid gelatin. Let it congeal and pop it out. Now let's give it a good lick. Nice bowl, but it's not for fish. It's for melting cotton candy. How else can we see what's inside? Ooh, that makes two vowels. But cotton candy can do much more. In fact, we can use it to make letters. Complete with a face on top. But when it comes to these letters, I don't think we need an eraser. Oh. 
Wow, Dolly here's got some great shoes. And they're even better with pink sauce. Chef Dolly can even help you stir. Add some cheese and voila, bon appetit. A spoon and chopsticks. What can't she do? Wow, so that's where candy hearts come from. But if hearts aren't really your style, add some heat and melt them up. Now we can whip them into shape. No bones about it. Let it cool. And it's a skeleton. Some assembly required. I hope he tastes as good as he dances. Soda break. Huh, you're thirsty too? Well, you do look parched. I know. Add the bottle to a paper cup. Ooh, a mosquito, the original vampire. But this one works in reverse. It gives out drinks. Now you can share your drink. Careful, this stuff goes right through him. Well, angsty poetry won't write itself. Is untight. Ooh, is that gelatin? Oh, and it's still fresh. Let's collect some with a food injector. And squeeze it out into some nanotape. Oh, it's getting nice and round. Let's give it a little face while we're at it. Now don't squeeze too hard. Or is that the idea? This skull's seen better days. We need a fidget break. Let's combine business and pleasure. And use this toy to spruce up our skull. Perfect thing to make some eyeballs. A little small, but they'll do for now. Hmm. While we're at it, why not a whole new face? Pucker up. Now for the hair. I know a horseman who'll just love you. Wake up! The spiders got loose again! Wait, that's no cobweb. It's cotton candy! Add some inside this bell. Add glitter. And more cotton candy. Take it out. Oh, it's a cute little ghost. But now it's melting, melting, oh! Ooh, blue soda. Have a sip. Mmm, apples. But she's not going to eat it. It's going to be the perfect teeth mold. Mm -hmm. Fill it up with melted candy sticks. Let it dry and peel off your new teeth. Just the right size for our little round friend here. Pretty candles, but look at that wax. Wait, that's no wax, Ew. it's dough. Looks like it's baking time. Twist it up and add some heat. for some snake-shaped bread. Slide it down into some sauce. 
and enjoy. Time for milk and cookies. Oh no! Why must the delicious die young? Hmm. Wait, maybe we can fix it. Add jelly. And some marshmallows in a row. Now it's a sandwich cookie. Just one with a little more bite. I uh, got a little something. Oh no! Our chocolate! I'd be ashamed to let it go to waste. Draw any shape you like over ice. A choco spider! But it's too cute hmm. to eat. This'll really liven up the room. No, don't bite your nails. Here's an idea. Pour a milkshake into some plastic glove fingers. Lop a bone, or stick, or whatever, inside. Freeze it up, and you've got a new ice cream treat. And look at that manicure! Finally, a milkshake you can eat. Time for a mirror check. Now that's a breakout. It's okay. Just melt that candy. Add some special ingredients. But this is no ordinary cover-up. When it cools, it's a candy treat. Just needs a little whipped cream. And maybe a little more spider. If you give this unicorn chocolate with heavy doses of glitter, she'll lay you golden nuggets. Guess he didn't want to share. Well, we can make our own fun. Make a mold and fill it with melted wax. Soon, you'll have a wow. new candle. Could use some eyes, though. <laughs> that unicorn's not the only one laying golden eggs. It's a baby duck. Let's add it to our collection. Wow. Talk about an electric slide. <laughs> but we've got something even better. Mm -hmm. A pair of toilet paper rolls. Uh -huh. Cut a hole in some paper plates. And glue them together in a spiral. Roll it out <laughs> and you've got yourself a slide. But I think this chute needs a ladder. Wow. If you're a fan of fresh beats, this bubble recorder's the toy for you. Add some solution and hook it up. I bet this is great for pop music. Now for a little money rain. And in this corner, let's cut out uh -huh. some holes. And you've got a bubble glove. Perfect for practicing your wave. <laughs> Guess it's time for lunch. Ooh, that's one A-plus sandwich. And it's got rainbow filling. Of course, the best part's the taste. Well, if you like rainbows, 
We can give you rainbows in balloon form. Now take a sponge. Cut it into slices with a slit for the balloons. Fold it up into a stretchy toy sandwich. It won't spoil, just don't eat it. What's in here? Squishy letters! Pretty soon, you won't even recognize them. In fact, you can squish up the whole thing. But with bubble wrap, you choose the colors. Add them to a paper bug and get squishing. Forget the colors? It's an easy fix. Just be careful where you aim them. A bath worthy of Scrooge McDuck. And speaking of ducks, look at these fountain ducks. And it comes with a nozzle. Well, anyway, thanks for the drink. Wow. Better yet, let's paint this bottle and turn it into a rocket ship. Now poke some holes near the end. Twist the lid and let it pour. Mm -hmm. Now cool. let's take this rocket for a ride. I think someone wants candy, but not for eating. This stuff's for target practice. Oh, good aim. Wash it down and save the box. Wow! Let's cut out a mouth and place a balloon inside. A good squeeze, and he's blowing bubbles. Oh, let's wake up this monkey for some morning stretches. Press his tongue, and he starts blinking. And you can even look inside him. Who wants to play on the monkey bars? <laughs> Uh. Uh. Don't have a monkey? Take a balloon. Ouch! No. Twist it up no. and use it to make a <laughs> no. tiny balloon. Draw a face on top. Ooh, a kitty. Make a bunch and add some soap. Soon they'll be nice and sticky. So sticky, you can make a bracelet. Wow. And each one's great for squeezing. Squeeze each one and start all over again. Ooh, a shark puppet! And it's looking pretty hungry. I think that was just the appetizer. But we can make our own hand puppet. Emphasis on hand. He's hungry too. Who knew being a puppet was such hungry work? Eh, should be enough. Someone's getting a big kiss. Wow! Time to order some fries. You can eat right off the case. Careful not to spill the sauce. Probably should keep it flat. Don't worry. Cut up a paper cup. And we can have our own phone fun. 
Take this clay and squeeze it out into some pretend ice cream. Don't forget the toppings like sauce, some sprinkles, and a great big cherry on top. <laughs> Ah, let's collect all this slime in our special uh -huh. slime hammer. Cool. Now let's start smashing. Some of these will end up flat, but others have a surprise inside. How about we take this in reverse? Take a prize and some slime and add it to a paper pocket. Now let's squeeze out all that good goo. And dig out the tiny prize inside. And when you're done, make some more. Keyboards can be a lot of fun, especially with jelly buttons. Just remember, squeeze too hard and they just might pop. Of course, they taste great too. But jellies come in all shapes and sizes. Let's add it to this poppet toy. Add some heat and melt them into place. Squeeze out your new hamster cheeks. These are the types of cheeks that were made for pinching, literally. <laughs> to quote the great Shrek, better old than in. Something fishy about this toilet paper. Ah, it's food. What about this shampoo? Wow. One way to find out. Although I guess you could have just cut into it too. Come on, don't mess with us. Can the toilet really be cake? Hey, save a slice for the rest of us. Careful, we need to separate the yolks from the whites. Now we'll never make that meringue. But maybe this little spider can help. Crack an egg on top. The yolk stays put while the whites slide down. A food serving train? Good, I always like a meal when I travel. Don't forget the caboose. Mmm, with condiments like this, who needs food? Wow! Okay, maybe a little food wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Which dip will it be? Why not all three? Clearly, uh -huh. this girl has an exquisite palate. Uh-oh. Pauline's having one of her perils again. Hurry, quick, or there's gonna be ketchup flying everywhere. Oh good, the train stopped. Kinda forgot they could do that. Some nice tea will be soothing. You know, some people use just one bag at a time. Don't worry, Mr. Penguin wow. here's got you covered. Just hang the tea bag around his beak. Turn the dial and he'll lower it right into your cup. Let it spin around and it'll lift it up just in time. 
Now you can enjoy your drink. Next, let's try out a little experiment. And give these cookies a full body dunk. Now for a nice big spoonful of… uh-oh! It's time to think outside the spoon! An ice cream scoop. Dunk inside ice cream or some ice cream-like substance. Press the lever, and it all comes out. You can't go wrong with a cone and sprinkles. <laughs> Let's add more scoops, every color of the rainbow. Wow. Well, it's good, but next time, let's reach the ceiling. <laughs> okay, we need tiny cuts. And by the looks of it, we'll be at this all day. There's just gotta be an easier way. Try this. Wow, these scissors are like an optical illusion. Make multiple cuts at once. What a time saver. And it works on peppers, sausages, all sorts of things. Now we're ready for breakfast. Don't forget the herbs after all that. You'd think she'd learned her lesson about tea. Finally, a drink that requires a toothpick. Once again, our bird friends will come to the rescue. Just place tea leaves inside this flamingo. Place in a cup and add hot water. Just look at it transform the water into tea! Refreshing. And there's no need to floss. If you're a tea lover, why not collect the whole zoo? You know what goes great with cereal? Bugs! Eh, just kidding. They're not real bugs. They're bag clips. Close the bag and save the rest for later. Look at that. A ramen noodle notepad! Write a note and peel away. And add an extra level of security to your food. Of course, the bugs will probably help with that, too. Let's mix things up and start with the device. A donut mold. So, naturally, let's make some donuts. Save the holes. We can make munchkins. Now fry them up and let them cool. Can't forget the frosting. We've got something special. Nutella. Drizzle it on. You know what's next. Sprinkles! <laughs> and what a bouquet! Mm. Ooh, huh? what's in the box? Diamond ice cubes? And this little funnel will help keep us precise. <laughs> we just need to plop it in the freezer. Now we'll have some diamonds for our treasure chest. <laughs> All this pirate's gonna get is sticky hands. Oh, slaving over a hot stove sure keeps you sweating. Guess we don't need that in-home sauna after all. Oh. Headphones? Wait, no. It's a neck fan! Hmm. A fan for your neck. Pretty self-explanatory, really. And it's great if you want that windblown look. Selfie time! Ever get the feeling we're forgetting something? Yum. A watermelon. That's one way to slice it up. Here's another way. A fruit slicer. Look, you get to take it apart. And you can always use the right tool for the job. 
There's even a little melon baller. What a work of art! Almost too good to eat. Now there's gotta be an easier way to squeeze fruit. A lemon squeezer? Okay, let's try it out. Place the lemon inside. Remove the plug and give it a good squeeze. Just add sugar and water and we've got lemonade. Hey, we don't do free samples. Food horrific stuff. Catch you next time. Hey, Mario, you ready for your checkup? Let's look inside. Ooh, a mushroom. A banana and a burger. Hold the pickles. Now let's give you a few power-ups. Looks like that mushroom's wearing off. What a cute little toilet. Perfect thing to mix up our chocolate. Careful, it's starting to leak. I'm gonna call the plumber. Eh, never mind. After all, it's just chocolate. Plenty where that came from. Vroom, vroom. Don't get jealous, just get crafty. All you need is a bottle, a stick, cool. and paint. Actually, uh -huh. we're going to quadruple all that. <laughs> wow. Now add two wheels on the sides. <sighs> it's a snail. Add a leash and take it for a walk. Who knew snails could be so fast? Uh, Come on, big breaths. Huh? Blow that bubble. Hmm. Okay, we need to rethink this. Ooh, a bubble helicopter. This has potential. Up, up, and away. And look at all those bubbles. Quick, try to catch it. You know, if you love something, let it go. It might just come back. Look, this little piggy's got a balloon. Let's help him blow it up. Let's go. Wow, this little piggy's got a need for speed. Our balloon <laughs> delivery service is going great. Uh huh. Ooh, cherry. Wait, no. Oh, we lose more good lollipops this way. Well, at least it made a new friend. It's a slingshot. Let's take it for a spin. Hey, just be careful uh -huh. where you aim that thing. Good thing she's wearing glasses. Look, you can even throw them by hand. Ah, watermelon sure hit the spot. How'd that get in there? Eh, we needed some nanotape anyway. It's the perfect container for all our slime. You know, all you need are some seeds. And it's a watermelon slice. Can't eat it, but who cares? It's squishy. Watch out! Oh, poor little burger squishy. You know what'll perk you up? A makeover. Complete with a nice new coat of paint. A few touches and it's a frog. How about a kiss for luck? So when does it turn into a prince? What a great looking house. Oh, the big one ain't too bad either. 
Now add some melted white chocolate. Let's try that again. This time, aim for the house. Cool. Can't forget sprinkles. It's like glitter, but for food. Okay, now, now you can take a bite. <laughs> Ooh, I'd wash those hands if I were you. Nature provides. Take one egg mold, crack an egg inside, and add liquid soap. Close it up and give it a good shake. You've got egg-shaped soap. Get scrubbing. Probably should use some water, too. <laughs> ah, nice and clean. Mmm, delicious pancakes. Wow. Let's melt some butter on top and pour on some syrup. <laughs> now dig in. Yeah. Huh? What the? The pancakes are a lie! Cases like this are why she became a food doctor. Just in time to prep this gummy bear for surgery. Give her a little anesthesia. Now make an incision. Our heart transplant is a success. Sorry, we ran out of SpongeBob Band-Aids. While you're here, mm -hmm. it's time for a checkup. Congratulations, you're going to be a mommy. So that's where the little gummy bears come from. Just one? I was kind of hoping for a whole bag full. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. Look, it's jelly fruits. Ooh, these look nice and juicy. Uh, I don't think that's how you eat them. On second thought, that was fun. Let's do it again. Now let's get out the heavy artillery. Hey, you got a little all over your face. Not exactly tasting the rainbow with these Skittles. We could just have a snow day instead. Or we can color them ourselves with edible ink. It's one way to stock up on your favorite color. And you'll have all the colors you need for crafts. Stack up these Skittles in a bottle. Mm. Now pour some syrup over them. Eh, should be enough. Don't want it overflowing. Now just give it a squeeze and take a bite. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to keep the candy lips to themselves. <laughs> of course, candy goes in the mouth, not out. And if you run out of lipstick, the candy lips have got your back. Just add a little heat. And watch your troubles melt away. Now scoop it up and pour into the empty tube. Close it up and give it some time to cool. Now pucker up and try your new lipstick. Unless, of course, you eat it up first. Arr, there be treasure in that candy. Wow. Look. It's a pair of AirPods. Ew. And even better, their container. Mm. It'll be perfect for our next idea. Now, get some huh? Nutella. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to fill her up. Soon you'll have delicious chocolate AirPods. They're the perfect shape for dipping sauce too. Add some sprinkles and extras while we're at it, too. Uh. 
Let's think outside the box for our next treat. Wow! Take a balloon and start pumping it up. Yeah, that should be enough. Now it's ready to fill up with candy. There's room for all kinds of snacks in our big, beautiful balloon. Everyone's coming out for this event. Now add some soda to top it off and start stirring. It's a giant lollipop! Wow! Don't forget, we need to pop that balloon. Good thing everything hardened. Now take a lick. How many licks did you reach the center? <laughs> I'm almost scared to ask. <laughs> Looks like someone needs a moist hey. towelette. Well, on the bright side, it's free Nutella. And really, there's no such thing as too much Nutella. Keep it cool so that it hardens up. Peel your fingers back, unless you want to eat your own hand. Throw on some scoops of ice cream with all the fixings. That's one way to think outside the cone. Wow, these delivery services sure are quick! Look, it's a powder! But it won't be a powder for long. Give it time and it's instant chewing gum. Let's take a closer look at this powder, shall we? Add some water and mix it up into gum. It's great if you're in the mood to see some stretching. Of course, what's the point of chewing gum without the chewing? Blow some bubbles while you're at it, too. Let's see, what are you in the mood for? Ooh, slime! And it comes in edible form. Yeah, how else would they know it's sour? Of course, edible or not, slime's also fun to play with. Let's see what we can cook up. Add all sorts mm -hmm. of toppings to our concoction. I'm starting to think we've got more <laughs> toppings than slime. That is some excellent goop. Really good squish ratio. Wow. And just wait till you see how it tastes, too. I guess that's one place to store your lollipops. Looks like we're going for a theme here, too. Hey! This foot even comes with a pair of sneakers. Those are some big shoes to fill. Which means more powder! Time to get ready for our next experiment. Go ahead, sample the candy before we start dipping. Hmm. Never underestimate the importance of uh -huh. dipping sauce. But for the sake of science, let's try pouring instead. Something tells me she really likes green. Now, all the flavors are more or less mixed yeah. together. But it's time for the taste test. I think she likes it. Of course, science is really about trial and error. Maybe we should try less green next time. Mm, so many cupcakes, so little time. Oh no, have the cupcakes turned against us? No, it's giving you a secret lollipop. I wonder if it's cupcake flavored. Well, 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 well. 
And don't forget, there's a surprise inside. Look, it's dipping powder. Close up the cupcake and take it out for a good lick. When it comes to snacks, she really likes the direct approach. Which explains why there's candy in her hair. But let's add it to a hair clip. Makes it more official. In fact, let's decorate all our clips with treats. I think we can fit five little ones on here. It's a fashion statement, and you'll always have a snack on hand. Including some treats in disguise. Sweet, horrific stuff! Catch you next time! Someone's got a delivery! Let's see what it is! Ooh, it's a tiny burger! It's bite-sized! Did you have to pay a small order fee? Now that's a big burger! And talk about extra cheese! Hope you saved room for all this candy! Look, there's gummy bears, popcorn, even chocolate macaroons! Hey, what's in the tank? Ooh, soda! Gotta keep hydrated! Besides, you need something to wash down all these treats! These potties are smaller, but hey, there's three of them! Complete with a lollipop plunger! And it's great for dipping! So, why don't we try all three at once? <laughs> like a candy apple, without the apple. Of course, there's always the direct approach. Ooh, an ostrich egg! A big egg means a big breakfast. Or really, whenever you want eggs. Are you sure you don't want any utensils? Well, why pay for eggs when you can get the chicken? See, we've got an egg, so let's get cracking. Here's an idea. Soak up the yolk and the whites in separate injectors. Now you can make little fried eggs right on the pan. So small, they could be hummingbird eggs. But the important thing is the taste. For some soda lovers, two liters just isn't enough. She sure likes her sweets. Ironic, isn't it? Still, a small soda is better than nothing. Wait, something's off about this soda. It's no drink, it's a gummy. And it's cola flavored too. Of course, she's not the only gummy fan. Just look at this giant gummy worm. Well, let's make like a giant early bird and start eating. From both ends. Careful, you're getting it everywhere. Well, we shouldn't waste it. Melt it and pour it into a gummy worm mold. We can even make multicolored ones. Hmm. But they're not doing you any good in there. Let's eat. We've got a garden's worth. Now that's a lot of lollipops. Let's remove the sticks. 
Add more candy. Pour on some soda. And get stirring. Soon, you'll have a giant lollipop. Not the usual shape, but it gets the job done. Think we can try it on a smaller scale? Well, place it in a bag. And start smashing. Okay, now that should be enough. Collect in a spoon. And melt away. Now you can make even tinier lollipops. All you need are some tiny, tiny sticks. <laughs> and look, there's one for each knuckle. Oh, Nutella chips! Sweet and salty. Some good things really do come in small packages. Can you beat that? Get Nutella. Always a good start. And make some triple decker sandwich cookies. But we're just getting started. Add syrup and candy. Now it's time to trim a little off the top. Wow, they really don't like paw prints around here. Congratulations, it's a Pokeball. Right this way, now take a seat. I choose you, Pikachu. Aww. This kitty knows how to beat the Monday blues. Let's see a movie. He did pay for the tickets. I've heard of cats and hats and puss and boots, but pants? Pants? <laughs> I gotta see this. Try not to sit down. Hey, it worked. I wonder if this works for snacks, too. Ah, busted. And to think he stopped shaving for this? But maybe, instead of hiding food in your beard, you hide your food as your beard. Remember, it'll work better if it matches the hair on top. Ah, whipped cream. Looks like shaving cream, but far more delicious. <laughs> Try belting out some ho ho ho's for good measure. Of course, you just can't top sneaking in with a fall guy. Works every time. Maybe sharing with the bouncer will sweeten him up. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't worry, cheese puffs. With a little elbow grease, you're a fetching new chain. It just needs a little something. Good idea. Candy string. Just keep them safe under your cap. And give yourself some new highlights. Or better yet, give yourself a whole new do. <laughs> wow! Almost time to start clubbing. But first... It worked! Mm -hmm. Go right on in. <laughs> now for a little victory nibble. Spit it out. Guess you Ew. did bring enough for the whole class. We need to think outside the box for this one. Ooh, take a cupcake and crumble it up. For that perfect soil look, we'll need some worms. But to keep them edible, let's make them cola-flavored. These straws really help give them a nice, wormy texture. Throw on some fake plants for good measure. It worked. Let's just hope this isn't botany class. Anyone in the mood for a 4th of July ice pop? 
Who says chocolate can't give you a six pack? And she didn't even do a single sit up. I think we've earned some confiscated candy. Uh, sort of. And we've got the perfect place to hide them. These new glutes go great with your abs. Time to pump iron and stay out of the sun. This case can do more than just hold ear pods. Pour on some melted chocolate and let it harden. Make like it's your birthday and start blowing. Talk about making a chocolate shake. Now we've got chocolate headphones. Yes, our lollipop didn't pass inspection. Just as planned. The teacher's none the wiser. Hey, how'd you get in here? This isn't the place to have M&Ms on hand. Huh. Add the brown ones to a cage. Now add a pet inside. You know, it's kind of a good thing food's not allowed in here. Otherwise, that librarian would be tossing cookies right about now. It looks like you need a little more height to enter. And your little cola isn't too welcome either. It's time to start stepping. No, really, we're making platform shoes. That should take care of both your problems. Step right in. Careful, this guy's on the case. He's investigating from the ground up. Oh no! Just think of all that poor, wasted candy. Quick, sneak in while the guard's distracted. Well, that's one way to cut up a watermelon. Hurry, eat it all before anyone sees it. Here's an idea. Wear some big tape rolls like bracelets. Hide some candy underneath, as much as you can. Now cover it up with cotton, like a cast. And why stop at just the arm? If anyone asks, it's been a bad week for her. But things are about to get a lot sweeter. What a great performance! If she knew there's no candy in jail, she'd never have jaywalked. Luckily, someone brought her a toy car in a cake. Everyone's always getting their snacks delivered these days. Good thing we've got a cat on the outside, too. Now let's put those strong teeth to good use. And carve yourself a skeleton key. Good thing you filled up on candy. Don't worry, our friendly neighborhood janitor's here to help. And if you want something to wash it down with, don't worry, he's got you covered. Strange, it's not your birthday. Eh, let's open it anyway. Looks like we still need to cut the wrapper. Wow, they really go all out for the mm. gender reveal parties. <laughs> and these silicone bellies sure are getting popular. <laughs> Never pay those museum cafe prices again. Now, what's going on here? Mm. Told you shop was more fun <laughs> than band class. Mm. Especially when you can hide all sorts of snacks. Just take one wafer, grind it up into shavings. Why don't you try a handful? Also works with coconut. Probably should get back to woodworking. Eh, 
Who needs furniture when you've got chocolate mushrooms? She doesn't look too happy. Is gum really a food? After all, you don't really eat it. Of course, you don't normally wear it either. But that's not gonna stop her now, is it? Let's add some candy buttons. Get it? Wow, she really likes your perfume. We're in! Why not take a nibble? Sneaky-ceptional stuff. Catch you next time!